Hi, this is Lynn McCool, and this is an overview of week 10. So in this week, you should wrap up your usability testing of the instructions, so the A4 assignment. Remember, you were assigned a different team's set of instructions, and so you are supposed to be doing some usability testing on those instructions. In a different screencast, I will overview that for you and give you an idea of how you should set that up as well as talk about the rubric. For this week, as I said, you're focusing in on the usability testing. That will result in writing the feasibility report. And so please make sure that you read over those directions again, the Assignment 5 directions, as well as the Assignment 5 rubric, which I will go over with you in just a few minutes. There's also a lecture on how to write technical descriptions because even though you are writing a feasibility report this week and you're finishing up assignment five, we want to begin looking ahead to assignment six. And of course, assignment six has to do with writing te a technical description. I have already put placed on Blackboard the, um, the different uh, matching of the teams with, the, with your first or second choice of a proposal. So I went through and I looked at those choices and as much as possible I tried to give a team their first choice but there were some duplicates so you may have gotten your second choice because of that. And so you should know which proposal now you're going to be working with and um, that will be the basis for creating your technical description. But we'll talk more about that later. Okay, so make sure then that you um, do all of the readings and watch the lectures for this particular week. That'll be very important. You do not have a discussion board this week and that is because there there is more to read and you are a little bit busier. You've got a couple of different things going on here so um, I decided to forego the discussion board in lieu of helping you finish up these other assignments. So you should read chapter 5 in your Finkelstein text a uh, description of a process which has to do with writing a technical description. And then make sure that you read through the assignment directions on the technical description. It's um, really important that you have a good idea and understanding of what that assignment is asking you to do before you actually begin working on it as a team. So each member on the team has a responsibility to read through that assignment. You also need to know that um, we are going to be having team conferences and those are going to be held during week 11, so next week. And I have a link here that if you click on this, uh, it will take you to a Google Doc and so you can sign up for a preferred time. Now, there are two caveats with the team conference. First of all, I have set aside time on Monday and Tuesday of week 11 to meet with the different teams. What you need to do first is to discuss as a team and come to a consensus when all the team members can be present for the meeting. Um, if you want to meet with me on Monday evening, then I'll be meeting with you via Google Hangouts. If you want to meet with me on Tuesday, then you have a choice of either meeting with me face-to-face um, -face in my office or uh, via Google Hangouts. If none of the times that I have suggested on the Google Doc are, are workable for you and your team, in other words, um, because of work schedules and so forth, not everyone can be there, then what you need to do is uh, let me know what time would work. And So I just want to quickly go over some of the key concepts of usability testing so that you can think about how to construct the criteria for uh, writing your feasibility report on that particular team's instructions. So feasibility testing or usability testing is the process of evaluating a product or a document through systematically observing real people while they're actually doing it or using it in real or close to real situations of use for the purpose of making that product or document better. So the purpose of usability testing is to determine whether a product or a document or a process works in, with its intended users or readers in the manner in which the um, author of, those, of that document had envisioned. 
Usability testing allows the technical writer to observe how real people use the product or document, helps determine whether that product or document is successful or not, and it helps to analyze how the product or document could be improved. So what you want to think about as you're doing your usability testing then and then writing, writing up what your findings inside the feasibility report is, is creating a set of general criteria frameworks. So now these are just some general questions that could be applied to any kind of product, process, or document and should help you think through then uh, ways in which you will be evaluating the um, set of instructions. So number one, can the user successfully use the tool product process document? Can the user understand how the document works? Are the users satisfied with what they have learned? Are the users satisfied with what they were able to do? Do the users find the tool product process document useful? Are the results users acquired um, are the results users acquired satisfying enough that the user would use that tool, product, process, or document again? So again, those are just general questions that you can ask. Now I've got this little metric chart here, again, to help you think through different levels of criteria and questions that would accompany those criteria. So on the left-hand side, the usability metric of task success, in other words, um, is the task achievable? Or is the user able to successfully complete it? So the question associated with that, can users actually complete a given task within a reasonable amount of time? For comprehension or listening, that usability metric, we could ask a number of questions here. Do users understand the concepts and processes of the task? Can users retain what they have learned? Could they redo the task without assistance? For satisfaction, are the users pleased with the product or document? Do they feel positively about it? Are they pleased with the outcomes of the product? And then usefulness. Do the users see the value in using the product or document? Does it add value to their work? And do users see it as a tool fulfilling a real need? And would they use it again? And do they think it works better than other available tools? So those are things that you can ask yourself as you're trying to set up your criteria. Remember, as you design your criteria for testing those instructions, you want to review back over the slide deck on how to write instructions for the necessary components to this genre. So that's one area that you want to look at. Did they include all the different parts of the instruction genre? Secondly, uh, I recommend creating a two-column chart that uses um, or adapts the usability metrics from the previous slide that I just showed you and then create specific questions for each metrics that address the usability requirements of this particular assignment, the uh, instruction genre. So in other words, what components have to be in a set of instructions in order to make them optimally usable and provide satisfaction to the user? And then I do give you a link here if you want to do a little more reading on usability testing. Okay, so let's quickly go back over the instructions for the feasibility report. Step one is to frame your report, in other words, describe the problem. Step two, develop your criteria and test, and that's what I was talking about when I was showing that, you that slide deck on usability testing. So you want to develop a series of criteria. We'll look at the rubric next and talk about some of the criteria you might incorporate in your testing. Step three, interpret, summarize, and develop recommendations. Now remember in the feasibility screencast, feasibility report screencast, I talked to you about that three-step process for every criteria, that each criteria has to have um, uh, data, it has to have an interpretation of that data, and it has to have a description or a definition of the criteria, what it is. So make sure that each one of your criteria have those three parts to them and that's what step three does it interprets it summarizes and then it moves on to develop a recommendation so you're going to actually recommend whether these instructions are feasible or not in other words can a user actually follow these instructions and complete the task as envisioned by the um, document designers Step four would be to draft the report. So after developing and gathering all the information discussed above, you write the report and 
the audience for your report is me, the instructors. You're going to detail the results of your tests. And I give you some page numbers and a checklist from your textbook, so please take a look at that, pay attention to that, follow the conventions of formatting that the textbook mentions there, and then finalize your style and your documentation in your report, uh, checking for oh, grammatical and, and other kinds of errors, and making sure that everything is clean and laid out the way that you want it to be. Okay, finally, I'm going to go over the criteria for your feasibility report. And thinking about the things that I'm looking for in your report should help you realize the kinds of information that you should be putting in there, which means um, that will also drive your usability testing and the development of your criteria. Okay, so we kind of worked our way backward. This is what I'm looking for, which means that you need to be looking for that in that other document as well. Okay, so. Um, I'm looking for context, so your report describes the intended audience for the instructions. It describes the problem that the instructions are intended to solve. For content, your report describes the feasibility test criteria, so you list in your report the criteria that you used in order to evaluate the instructions. You describe your methods for testing the instructions and for collecting the data. You summarize and interpret the data. You state recommendations drawn logically from your analysis. As far as organization, you order information effectively for the audience's understanding and you group your topics into coherent paragraphs. And I've been talking to you and giving you feedback on headings and so um, you would definitely want to continue to use headings in order to group information together. For style, I'm looking to see that your ideas are clearly stated and that they're concise, that you're using correct grammar and avoiding bias language. And then finally, for delivery, I'm looking to see that you carefully follow the assignment's directions. You use correct spelling, punctuation, and capitalization. You've got usable document design, so that means headings, uh, bulleted lists where appropriate, the, the use of white space, the use of appropriate fonts, sizes and so forth, and that you're employing appropriate visuals to explain and illustrate the concepts that you are talking about in your feasibility report. So your report itself should have visuals in it. And notice this next point, incorporates visuals into the text effectively. So you're flowing text around the visual and it's, it's done in a way, again, that there's appropriate white space around the visual but um, the text also uh, flows around it in a way that makes sense. You're employing authoritative sources and you're citing all sources correctly in one style in the text and in the reference list where appropriate. Okay? All right, so that is the basic overview for week 10. Again, it's another rather busy week. You've got quite a bit to do as a team. And this is where my uh, screencast on working as a team comes in a little, a little bit into play because this is the important part of the semester where it's really important for you to continue to maintain a high level of communication among your team members, make sure that you're dividing the work and that each person on the team is working to capacity to try to um, function so that the team can function at the highest level possible. Okay, if you have questions, please contact me, and I look forward to visiting with each of the teams during week, week 11, so please um, sign up early so that you can get your preferred time. Thanks.